welcome back to the channel my name is Eric and today we're going to be working on my John Deere 530 ground baler so let's go out and do a little walk around and I'll show you what we've got so far this is all every farmer does this prior to hay season so they make sure everything is running but the biggest thing with the round baler is the pickup teeth and the strippers are the ones that take the most abuse. All right, so this is a 530 round baler. And make sure that your locks are engaged. On this particular one, it's right here. So with that being locked, it doesn't allow that to come down where you're working. We've got all the strippers off right now. It's the easiest way to do it. And what we're doing is we're going in and any one that's a bad one, we're cutting them out. And then in turn, I don't know if you can see them or not, but we've got some new ones in place that we bolted in yesterday. I got to go buy another 20 today so we can get this ready to roll. <clears throat> but the things you want to look for, look for in these ground balers, you want to look at the belts. Make sure that there's no slits, no tears, unevenness. Check all your bearings. Pop this apart. It's a little dirty. I get her cleaned up. But you want to keep all these chains well lubricated. And we, I lube the chains once twice a day depending on how long we've been bailing but give it the general once over on this side is where we can keep our twine and I keep extra chain lube and this power steering fluid because this has got the auto tie system that once the bale gets to the size I want it'll start tying itself you want to check the wear and tear of the belt for the, the pickup check the chains check your hydraulic fluids to make sure they look good your hoses, bearings. This is the density. This is the size of the bale that it's producing. But like something like this, we're probably, you can see it's starting to rip. We're probably gonna take that right off, recut it and put a new one in it. Better to do it right now than right in the middle of hay when you got hay ready to go. Looks like I've got two of them that we're going to have to do. But this is all part of, you know, farming. It's, it just seems like you're working all the time and trying to get stuff done. And sometimes you can't get caught up. I have the 335 round baler. That's a 4 4 hardcore all ready to go we did already did that we're finishing up on this we're putting new rake teeth on our new holland 256 and then i'm putting some rake teeth on our uh b wheel rake i ordered 80 of them 80 teeth but you also want to check, I mean, just do the once over and you don't do it just one time a season. You're constantly looking to make sure that everything is the way it's supposed to do. And it's supposed to be doing it the way it's supposed to work. Again, the last thing you want is breakdowns when you got a bunch of hay down and you got rain in the forecast. The other thing that we're going to be getting out quickly is the wrapper. That should be all ready to go. That was working great when we put it away, put some grease to it. That should do it. So, how do we 
change the teeth. Well, see, these here actually came with bolts and nuts, and I'm not sure how they ever got in there. And anything I've done research on, it's supposed to be an Allen-type key with a nut on the bottom. But the way to save yourself money, because if you go over there with what John Deere wants, it ends up being around five, six dollars per bolt assembly. We went right to Tractor Supply and bought five sixteenths bolts with two washers and a nut. We ended up with, I think it was like 14 pounds for $58. $58 wouldn't even cover 10 of these if you went through your local dealer. And they'll work. And what we did here was we're removing them with a cutting torch because you cannot get on that nut. But I'm replacing all new bolts here, all new here. You know, I've got them out. I might as well put new in it. The, I got to get two more strippers. That's what they call them. But these are probably original. And they're, it's ready to go. And here's another one. The third one actually broke in half, and we took that right off. But I'm going to get two more strippers today and another box of 20 teeth, and that should finish this out. You know, anybody that's in farming can tell you, you're not going to get rich at it.
So as you can see, I got these burnt. One more to go. One thing that I didn't mention before you start these projects, make sure you have a fire extinguisher, a thing of water, and if not, call your insurance agent. Make sure that your equipment is fully insured. Yeah, so we got one more to do on this. Ball bolt. Well, this is a six volt battery, right? Yeah, but I'm not going too bad. Oh, okay. We got 50 on four, zero on uh, three, 50 on two. Try shooting some PV blaster in there and let it sit until Monday. Yeah. So I did with that chainsaw. And then we don't know if some of these fucking bees, if bees are out of whack, they're going to be. Yeah, we'll spray some in there. I'll put the plugs back in. I'll look this weekend if I can find out which ones you do when. They should be loose. One of them. This one here is, should be head top all the way, I think. You know, the only thing we can do is uh, just turn it, watch it come up and back to neutral, and then just give it a little bit of play, and then do the next one, and then the next one. at the point where I'm ready to heat and bend that piece. Oh, okay. All right, let me split this for this before I forget. Put the plugs back in the way. But it's healthy. You're outside a lot. You can see what you've accomplished throughout the day. And sometimes it's heartache. You know, we're losing animals and breakdowns causing stress and... You know, where are you going to get the money for the parts? I'm looking at, on this batter, probably right around five, 550 just to get it ready for this season. But I don't want any problems during the season. I know I'm going to have problems. Just, I'm going to try to minimize them. And that's what you can do if you're just starting out. So on that note, Hope you guys all have a great hay season, and I'll see you on the next video.